very first YouTube channel. Um, yeah, I just got bored and decided to like do like a makeup video at my makeup station. So I hope you guys like it. And in case I'm all over the place, just bear with me. It's my first video. I do not know how to do this. Um, but yeah, I guess that's it. Um, or in case I forget something, I don't know. I don't know how to do this, to be honest. I've never done makeup in front of camera, so I'm a little bit shy, I guess. I just moisturize my face with this Innisfree um, toner. I like it because it's like moist and it lasts literally the whole day. I usually put it mostly underneath my um, makeup, and I like it. Next, I'm going to go in with my eyebrows, just like that. Brushing them in their natural direction with that um, Anastasia pencil. Then I'm just going to draw them with um, my Morphe um, lip liner, I guess. I like, when I have like dark hair, I usually like to um, have dark eyebrows. So, there we go. done now I'm gonna be and I look a mess right now but I'm gonna clean that with this um two concealers I like mixing these two together this one is from makeup forever and the other one is by nurse and I usually use my um flat brush from Mac I already mixed them they're on my arm right there as you can see so I'm just gonna use a tiny bit of that one to literally just um shake them like that using my Real Techniques brush right there. I love it. I'm going to be cleaning off all of that excess concealer just so we could finally, finally have a normal looking brow. And it's usually like the only thing that I'll get challenged with is just like the baby hair and them not looking like twin eyebrows, you know? Yeah. But as people always say, eyebrows, they're supposed to be sisters, not twins. So don't really stress much about it because unless like you're like very, very off, Nobody will notice the difference, to be honest. It's usually just like a slight difference. Du, 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 du. We're going to be using this Pillow Space. I have space to our eyeshadow. Du, 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 du. So I just like to squeeze it a little bit. And I'm going to be using my Fanny brush um, sponge. I mean, sorry guys. My Fanny Beauty sponge to um, kind of like tap in the base. I love using sponge instead of brushes. I really feel like with sponge, the product gets to be absorbed more easily than if I use like a brush. I don't know. But some people prefer brushes. I see I know a lot of people prefer brushes. So yeah, I mean whatever that works for you. But I'll highly suggest this sponge because not too much product is um absorbed into the skin. It's just like the right amount because the sponge also absorbs the product. That's why that's what I like about it. So instead of having like too much product on your face, it controls that. That's the only thing that I like about a sponge. Okay, so now that we're done with that, we're going to move to eyeshadow and I like to use my Morphe palette. We are going to be doing just um, a soft glam, simple look. We're just going to use the um, brown shade and the nude color. Um, yeah, so that's it. And I'm going to be using my Sephora brush. I love this brush so much. You can tell like I literally use it all the time. So I like to start um, on the outer corners of my eyes, just like there, very low. 
I tap in the um, eyeshadow as much as I can, just like that. And then I'm gonna keep bringing it um, upwards and towards the inner, um, towards the inside. You want to make sure you blend it very well with um with everything literally with the concealer or if you're using like multiple shades make sure everything is well blended you want to make sure you blend it very well with um with everything literally with the concealer or if you're using like multiple shades make sure everything is well blended and i'll be using my fanny beauty um brush Okay, now that that nude is set up back in, you want to make sure you want to get a good balance of both shades. So I'm going to go back with my brown um, shade, just switching brushes. Perfect. Now I feel like I got a good balance of both shades. We're going to move on to face. And I like to um, start off with my Milk Makeup Primer, literally my holy grail. I have never switched primers ever since um, I was introduced to this bomb baby right here. I'll just let you know that. It's so good. I love the sticky nature. Like, I really love it. I feel like it gives um, a foundation a very strong hold. One that is needed, to be honest. So we're going to do it real quick. And we're just going to have to wait for it to dry. The primer is dry. We're going to move on to foundation. And I like to use my MAC. Um... Studio Fix Foundation. And this, I prefer the one with pumps. I don't, I really don't know why I got this one. It doesn't have pumps, so I literally have to like do that, which I hate because, oh, it's just, you never know how much product you're gonna end up putting on your face. And I don't like that. I think that should be enough. So, we got that, and I'm gonna be using my Beauty Blender. I like the black one because it's always clean. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, as you can see, I'm tapping that in real quick. using my favorite beauty contouring stick which is almost done by the way and this angle brush by real techniques i'm just gonna start by putting the products on my jaw earlier do, 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 do. and make sure you like don't go all the way here because you're gonna look real really weird like all the way down it's gonna look like too strong and you don't want that so try your best okay so as you can see now i'm trying to like blend that in but not like blend it that well but just um Make sure that the product is in before I go in with my bronzer because I'm gonna um, also add bronzer in. Da, 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 da. Okay, 
And for bronzer, I am gonna be using my Morphe contouring palette. It has bronzers, blush, and highlighter. That's what I like about it because I mean most contouring pal palettes have everything though. So yeah. Um, but I kind of like like how I can pick from way too many shades, and I usually use this shade as you can see like. I've overused that. Okay, and I'm done with that. I literally can already see my forehead is shining. So now we're going to be moving in um, with concealer and I'm just going to be using the NARS um, Concealer I want. I like what I did previously where I mixed the two together. Actually now I don't mind it looking so light because that's the whole purpose. It's kind of heavy. That's what I like about it. Area. 
Okay, to move any further, I'm gonna take off um the excess setting powder that's sitting under my eyes because we don't want it to stay there for too long. And I know if like I continue with my makeup look, I'm gonna forget about it. And then it's gonna ruin the whole makeup. And then I'm gonna go in with a NARS um, nudish color. I love this lipstick. Just gonna wipe off this um, setting powder. And that. Okay. And I'm gonna put lip gloss on. Just to finish off the final steps. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna go offline to put eyelashes on and curl my hair before I come back for the final look. So stay tuned, guys. Just a few minutes. So I'm gonna be finishing off with my Studio Fix from Mac. Just like, uh, love the smell. It's lavender. Mm. It's cold. Oh my god, I have to hold my breath. Um, but yeah. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments section below. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, just to give me a push for my first makeup video. Let me know what you guys would like me to do next. I just want you guys to have like a full look because my hair keeps falling down. Until next time, your girl is out. I'm out here feeling myself like God.